to walk you through a creative color grading pack we've named Sterling. It's a collection of 3D LUT profiles that are based on the look of international high society magazines. Now, we're really dealing with rich tones here, rich colors. I'm looking for a richness in a desaturated space and a wide variety of hues within that. So we've got warm skin tones, deep blues, greens in the shadows, all while retaining a sense of snap that sort of leads to this opulent look. Now these profiles exist equally in both Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm gonna be working on the Lightroom workflow. Let's open up this first image into develop and it's balanced pretty nicely right off the bat. So I know I'm not gonna spend any time here doing any th additional work. I wanna get in and see these 3D LUT profiles in action. Adobe Colors here, I favorited this. This uh, whole browser here may look slightly different than yours, but don't worry about that. I've got RGG Sterling loaded and I can immediately start going through these looks. First off, Rodeo brings a lot of blues into the quarter tones. Skin tones are still looking nice, a little bit cool. Windsor, that's a really cool green wash over the whole thing. I like that. Hollywood sort of takes Rodeo and amps it up a bit, and the skin tones looks like are retaining a little bit more warmth. Mulholland, now that's a beautiful look. That to me went really, really painterly. I love that grade. Del Mar, much more subdued, a little bit cooler. Turnbull, putting a little bit too much yellow into the skin tones. Riverside, a really nice subdued look. I love that. Sunset, a lot more classic, I think. This feels, this feels nice and brown to me without being too sepia toned. St. Vincente is taking that same vocabulary and throwing some purple into the shadows and Melrose is just a final look that adds a bunch of punch and retaining a lot of really good contrast in these quarter to mid tones. So my favorite out of all of these is Mulholland, definitely. I love this look. It's warm. It's also got these jade greens in the background that are really strong and that a little bit of that jade creeping into some of the tones on the feathers here. But I, I think it's just a touch too strong. So like always, I can go in here and just dial this back in the amount slider to retrieve a little bit of warmth in the skin tones and definitely some more warmth in the hardwood of the dresser here. This is a really important point to make about Sterling. So we've created this look intentionally to have a lot of variety and a lot of punch when it comes to the effect that you're putting on your image. So in the vernacular of International High Society magazines, we know that the looks, the treatments need to be relatively conservative. And we've created these in a more amped up way intentionally in order for you to be able to see what each one does immediately. So if they're amped up and kind of stronger like that, you can dial that back to your taste in order to achieve that much more um, conservative look. So this is great, I love these results, and I wanna see how these looks work on an image that's quite different. So I'm gonna go back to the library of images that I have here and bring this one up. Into the develop module, and this one's coming in a bit underexposed, so I'm gonna open it up a bit. Not too much. I'm gonna open up some of the shadows here. I wanna see a little bit more in these dark areas. And maybe bring some of the highlights down to retrieve a little bit of that detail that's lost in the highlight on the face. And once again, that's all I do. When I'm doing my balance, I just wanna spend a minute doing that because I immediately wanna see how these looks are gonna work on the image. I just want it to be in a nice place. I've got Adobe Color up here. I favorite this, so I can immediately go and I can see my before and after. Super useful. Rodeo, once again, is bringing some blue into a lot of the tonal range of the image. Nice green wash with Windsor. Hollywood amps up what Rodeo's done. Mulholland, once again, a nice touch. Very classic. Del Mar, more subdued. Turnbull, 
Got some cool stuff going on, but a little bit too yellow in the skin tones. Riverside, another subdued look. Sunset, classic. San Vicente, a little bit more of a split tone. And Melrose with more punch and more drama. So I wanna take a look at Hollywood here. Something clicked in my brain when I went through that because the blue that it's punching in there is sort of reminding me, it feels like a more of a classic old timey Hollywood look because it's pushing those pants into this range that they look like they might actually be blue. But overall, it's running a little hot on the treatment, so I'm gonna dial it back keeps a lot of the good music that's going on in that look while bringing back some of the skin tones, which is what I care about in an image like this. Before, after, before, after. I'm getting really good results from Hollywood right off the bat. I can take that into Photoshop and continue editing, doing some color work, but I can easily just call it good right there. So that's a look at Sterling using the Lightroom workflow. I hope you like all these looks we've created for Sterling and I can't wait to see what you do with them.